Well, I sure you remember this boat. I'll show a clip now. That yep. boat right. sank. The last yeah. time I had it out, it didn't have a videographer. It was just burning off batteries. Motor in it. And I don't know what even happened. The flotation has always worked in it before. And a G180 speed control. It With went a bow up and went right to the bottom. Uh, uh, a kindly fisherman a 54 with two hummingbird prop. sonars on his, prop. I'll put the, on his boat. Uh, put it in the, in the we went out and looked for it and we found it a couple times time but it was in nine feet of water. Setup. We couldn't get it and it was it was kind of floating on the bottom, bow up and moving along. So that boat's gone. But as luck would have it, as soon as I realized it was gone for good, I went on eBay and I found this boat. It's not together yet. It's a big one. It's a lot wider. The other boat will would fit right inside of that. No problem. It's big. It's it's a big one. The only problem with this one is it's it wasn't meant for the power I'm going to be putting on it, so I'm going to have to really pressure wash this on the inside and put another layer of glass in here um, but before I do all that I'm going to try to make a mold out of this hull not sure how I'm going to do it um, I think that's what this video all right, it's slow going for me, but not for you. Uh, I've just made the transom and I'm glassing it in now. The transom is made with, uh, I, I got three sixteenths in there, like this is quarter inch, but it's the same deal. I have done a video on it before where I, I just stack, just keep on stacking layers of fiberglass mat with resin and then put these in the corners and then clamp it down on these two, between these two pieces of steel to get that. And there's a 3 16th piece in there. So that's currently curing up. And uh, the next step, the next step will be layering an extra layer of glass throughout the whole boat uh, because I don't feel that is strong enough. So I'm gonna put another layer of glass mat in here. And then we will proceed to put the top on and go ahead and make the mold. All right, got the layer of glass in. I'm only going to do the bottom at the sides. So, yep, that ought to give a little bit more strength when I hit rocks and stuff. All right, I've been I've been working on this thing most all day. Uh, here and there, I had to go and help somebody bleed brakes and whatnot, but. Um, yeah, uh, what I've got done so far is I have the thing stuffed with pink insulation foam. This thing is not going down like the other one. Got the motor kind of in there. It's sitting there. It's just being placed. I've got the strut placed. Uh, but here's, here's my crowning achievement for today. That is the battery holder, and there's two of them. This is, uh... Genius, if I do say so myself. This is a, uh, a slash battery extender kit. It's for the if you want to put larger batteries in your slash 4x4. And then, of course, this is useless. This comes with a kit that's just plain useless because it's too short. But you can use the hold down, but you got to drill a hole. I drilled a hole there. And it'll hold different size batteries. That one's pretty thick. That one's pretty thin. But you just go ahead and stick that in there. Hard to do with one hand. Put that in there. Drop that down. And there's a hole here. Put a pin. These are screwed down. This is, it's all fiberglass. These are screwed to mistake. 
these are screwed to the uh, with with uh, uh, stainless steel 256 screws. Might have to put like a little uh, cushion there to hold it down a little more, but hey, you know, I mean, once it goes in the boat, it's going to be pretty good. I mean, quick battery changes, and with the uh, with the, the new hatch cover, with the uh, the twist locks, it's going to be very quick battery changes, and hopefully the lid doesn't come off and it doesn't sink. Well, I know it's not going to sink now, but. I just got a little bit more to do. I put the uh, rudder on, and then after I put the rudder on, I'm going to start to. This is this is going to be the uh, it, it, fiberglass is so heavy, but I don't want wood because it's going to be wet and it'll rot, and I'll just replace it in the next two or three years anyway. So this will go in there like that, and of course the rudder. You you all understand rudders, so. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to glass the stuffing tube in and get a give a support up here. So that's it for right now tonight. It's per dark out. It's dark out. Dark out. God, I can't. This is backwards. Like dark out. So all right, I'm going to get moving. All right. I've got some progress here. I, uh, I took all the hardware and I uh, uh, I fit it and drilled all the holes and had all the you know holes drilled and um, then I took it all off again so I could paint. And I don't know if some of these mistakes come out in the camera or not, but there's there's definitely mistakes like that one. And that's a hairline crack that I missed. It just and there's swirl marks and stuff, but here's the good, good part. This looked exactly like that. So you can, I put a gold, uh, gold base on, and then I used fleck paint, and this was almost as worse, as bad as that, as the boat. And I can't see any imperfections in this because it just covers them right up. So, glitter paint to hide the mistakes, I guess. Yeah, there's all the hardware, hardware, hardware stuff. I don't know if gonna... I'm going to put that foam tape around here. But, uh, yeah. As soon as it's all done uh, painted and uh, clear coated, I'll show the assembly of it and Hopefully I can get it down to the water quick enough. It's just being miserable out for for April. So, all right. Well, there she is. This lid will get taped down. That doesn't come off very often. I don't need it on hinges or anything. Just tape it down. And then, uh, that's not, that servo's bad. It's gonna come out of there. Uh, this twist lock. And look at that. Probably put some light in there. Hold on a second. full of foam. Haven't put the swim noodles on the side yet. But there's the uh, Traxxas RC car battery hold down things I made. But, uh, had a little problem with the new collet I just ordered. Drilled off center or something. It wobbled something fierce. Well, what do you get when you get from... That's what you get when you order from China, I guess. Cheap. They were like three bucks or something. But uh, yeah, uh, the next clip will be a test in the water. Hopefully that comes along soon. See you then. Maiden voyage.
wrench, deep V60. Trim things out a little bit. Just under half throttle. Burning something. I had water coming out both of these, but the but the motor is hotter than hell. Wires are hot. Speed control is hot. I'm gonna go change propellers to a little bit smaller one and come back. All right, I've gone, it was a, a X460, or X465 prop on there. I went to an X460, which has been proven on my other boats, so. Wires are still pretty warm. It might be warm from the last time though. Motor's a lot cooler. Um, I think these batteries went flat though. So I'm going to change batteries and try it again. All right, I got a fresh set of graphene 5,000 milliamp batteries in there, six cells. So 
let's just see how that does. I'm gonna set my stopwatch and see how long of a run time I get out of her. It's a pretty hefty boat, so. motor's cooking. It's cooking pretty good. Um, I think the extra weight of this, mo this boat is a little too much for this Leopard 4074,050 kilovolt. Um, I may need to rethink the motor. Um, lower kilovolt, more cells probably. Because um, that motor, it's, it's just baking baking right on there. Even the aluminum, aluminum mounts are almost too hot to touch. So, yeah, we're gonna stop running this one for now. I don't wanna burn things up. So. Well, that only means there'll be another video with upgrades. So, I guess, thanks for watching.